and I am back with another video. I know y'all haven't seen my face on the screen in forever, but today I got some good tea for y'all. I have my homegirl here with me, Tamara. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. All right, y'all. So today, as you can tell by the title, she's a lesbian. The gay people are gonna be answering questions straight people are afraid to ask. Y'all, so it's gonna get crazy, mm -hmm. all right? Cause I'm I'm getting down to the T, to the nitty gritty, okay? <laughs> like, so, I wanna grab your popcorn, <laughs> your little drink, like, yeah. It, excuse the voice, excuse the look, I'm sick. And I'm in my house, the comfort of my house. Ready? <laughs> so we just jump straight to it then. But before we do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, mm -hmm. and turn that post notification bell so y'all don't miss another video. <clears throat> All right, so if y'all see me looking down, it's because I got the iPad because I wrote down some <gasps> questions. Oops. So, Frank, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so number one, how did you know you like girls? Okay, so I'm going to say middle school. I was always attracted to females. Like, I like the softness of a female. I don't want to say, like, because this don't count. Like, so I had, like, a little boyfriend. I was, like, 12. But yeah. like, that's young, you know, people, we didn't really do, well, we didn't do nothing, because what the fuck, I'm 12. Right, okay. But I don't think that really count. So I'll say like my very first serious relationship was in like sixth grade, seventh grade, with a female who I actually was attracted to. Okay. So where like, I'm, I'm comfortable. So I'm comfortable doing things with you, like kissing you, or like speaking with you with the males. It's always been very uncomfortable for me. And I'm not, I was never sexually attracted to men. Okay. So I would say, like, that would be it, I think. Okay. I think that's how I knew, like. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, some of my questions is, like, all over the place. Yeah. Things was just popping in my head. So it's like, just bear with us. But yeah. you're gonna, gonna answer everything, all right? So the second question is, how do you know what you identify yourself as and what is the difference? Because you know, like, y'all got, like, yeah. fans, studs. Okay. So, like. Stem. Okay, so me, I am a femme. Okay. Uh, growing up, I was a tomboy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But I'm very girly. I like girly stuff. I'm a girly girl. Period. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's just me. That's how I go. But like on a comfortable day, I do like my sweatpants, t-shirts, things like that. Like I like to dress very comfortable, but I'm very girly. I'm a girly girl. So I'm a femme. And I actually do not prefer studs, dykes, or whatever you identify as. But but I still love y'all. So you know? the second question was, what is the difference between y'all? Like, um, ooh, so and excuse me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like ag, ag studs, dykes. I think ags and dykes the same thing, or like maybe we just made up the term dyke, like New York people. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, and what else? Stem. So with stems, they're in between. So it's like sometimes they want to be girls, sometimes, you know, they want to dress comfortable boy. Oh, like what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you said you're not that. You said you're them. Yeah, straight. Straight okay. But okay, so then what's the difference with the other ones? So it's... Um, you said STEM is... STEM is in between. Like, they have day days. Okay. Where, like, they want to be dykish. Mm -hmm. Days when they want to be femme sometimes. They want to get on their girly side. Okay. With dykes. Which I think is AGs too. Sorry, okay. but we're gonna use the term. Like, that's we what we're used to. No, I'm sorry. Don't Correct get on us. Please, <laughs> if anything. But the dice stay straight. Straight <laughs> raw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Straight dude. Yeah. Like, like dress But like they're dude. not dudes because, like, when you talk to them, they be like, you know, like, I'm a girl. Nice. But they they don't be with none of that. So a dyke like, is, so a dyke is the ones that's just, that. like, straight masculine. Yeah. Who else we got? Oh, tomboys. Tomboys is just tomboys. I feel like tomboys just stay straight. So what's a stud? That's what is a stud? Girl, it's too many of them. They, they got too many titles. A, a stud is the same thing as like a date. Oh. Facts. That. Clearly, I'm confused myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to get to the next question. Woo. All right, y'all. We're going to spice up a little bit. Cause I, I, like I told y'all, don't mind me. My questions is all over the place. Whatever came to my head is just what I asked. Um, What I wrote down. So the next question is. All right, so because yeah. you like girls or whatever, mm -hmm. you're into females, how do y'all have sex? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I know we know the basics, but it's like, how? Like, how? Okay. I feel like we have sex, like, how 
gay people have sex literally but it's more I don't know because I, I mean like, it's the same thing for y'all but mm -hmm. I was just very intense it's real I want to say emotional because we females okay okay so I don't and then we last longer how do we have sex? We just have sex like regular people. We doing the same thing y'all doing. It's just vaginas. I not necessarily say it's the same thing though because like, you know, y'all yeah. throwing it back and all that too? Like, it depends. Okay, cool. All right, so it's, it's the same way. All positions, y'all do, we do. Oh. Literally. Okay, okay, okay. But y'all don't bump. No. No, because y'all can't bump. Right. We get crazy. We bump. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but we do everything y'all do. Okay. Literally. Any position y'all do, we doing it. She oh. think y'all not out beating up. Let me stop. <laughs> you, I don't I even mean, know. I don't even know. And I'm trying to get a try. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm trying to get my friend a girl. Anyway, um, number five. Wait, was it number five? No, we're number four. If you haven't had sexual intercourse with a guy, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have asked that as number two. But if you if you haven't had sexual intercourse with a guy, how are y'all able to use like straps and dildos? And toys if in general? I don't like it with a guy, how am I able to do it with a female using the, the toys? No, you said you never did it with a guy. You said you had a boyfriend. Okay, so I did do it with a guy. Okay. Yes. How do I know that I don't prefer male over female? Or like just that personal body part. Yeah, just the personal body part. How you how you able to do it with a strap? Yeah, but, but you said you did it with a male. Yeah, so it's different. It's just it's all about what you are attracted to. So um, like I said, I'm not attracted to like the male species at all. Okay. But I like penetration. Ah. Yes. Okay. 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 So it's the same thing with like fingers. Like you get yeah. penetration from fingers. Okay. So we use the toys. It gets busy. I gets crazy. Ah. Both parties could, you know, switch off. Right. So I just don't like males. Like, I just, I can't, nothing about that. But I have no problem with using any toys with female. Okay. All right, cool. Number five, with a female, do it feel good when you guys have sexual intercourse for both parties? Is both parties enjoying enjoying the time that y'all experience together in bed or is it just like a one-sided thing like one person is getting off on it both parties both parties both par both parties is feeling everything okay and then you gotta i don't know i feel like only my gays will notice but like when it's the two girls and then everything is hot and sweaty and then you moist and you feel her and y'all intense like y'all in it like how do I say it? Like, y'all both here with it, like, you know? Okay. So it's like, when y'all into it in the moment, y'all both feeling it. Mm -hmm. And then my gate, my gays know when y'all going off, y'all going off. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know? All right, so question number six. Um, With the straps now, right? Because okay. I know y'all say, like, you guys are not attracted to males or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sizing with the straps. Mm. How y'all know what size Ooh. is the right size? And how you know? You go to the store, you just shop for a strap. You, know, you don't like dudes, so it's like, what? How y'all know? Like, because I be seeing some of y'all with the big ones, the little ones. Me, how y'all know what's what's okay. the right size? I'm not gonna lie, it it depends on the female too. Ah. So it's like if if that's what you wanna take, like if you saying you want more, and whatever we currently got ain't like enough for you and we gotta go back and shop for another one okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna use my first like serious relationship okay right? okay period so we we ran through about like i think like four different straps mm -hmm. different sizes so our first one was at least sorry excuse the fly was at least 10 inches Damn! Damn! For sure. Damn. She was 10 inches. <laughs> and mind you, she's being used on me. First time. So it hurt. <laughs> but. Oh my God. That, I, our first one was definitely 10. Um, It was skinny though. Skinny, long. It was called. Oh, so they have like thicknesses and. Yeah, like I could show you. I don't want you to get bent, so I'm only going to show you. Yeah. But that was the first one. 
the second one was the double size so she was 14 inches the double size is when y'all both use it right yes okay so this was the first one okay She's long. yeah okay the other <laughs> one was the double she in the closet i can show you her later okay <laughs> yeah i still got her. <laughs> okay but she was 14 she was long she was at least like she's like this. damn like a subway sandwich <laughs> <laughs> And she was, she a little thick. She a little thick. Oh, okay. The, we had another one. She was, she was like nine, but mad thick. Very thick. I, I didn't like it. She couldn't fit. It was huge. Threw her in the trash. So y'all just be like, okay, so you said it depends on the female, but y'all just be yeah. exploring with sizes also. Yeah. Because the first one wasn't doing enough. The first one did more than enough. Oh, it did? And then mm-hmm. y'all just wanted to explore more? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just learned something. Ooh, prom month, you know. Get into it. Hello, get into it. <laughs> Number seven. So, <clears throat> so you said you had sex with a guy, mm-hmm. right? But you're not attracted to Male. males. Mm-hmm. So, my question is, because you said about the sizes with the straps and this down the fourth, Ooh. right? Um... Would you have sex with a transgender? Mm. Because they they have it's a female they have female features and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. But they still have. I would. It depends. Okay, so back to the question. So it for me, I probably would if it's no, I can't because if it's female transgender into male, I don't want. I'm not. I'm not going down here. Because I like vagina. So I need a vagina. <laughs> you know? I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Okay. Okay. So no. No. You wouldn't try training? No. So you're going to stick, you stick with your straps? You prefer the straps? Yes, so what if it's a, not, we don't use it all the time. Okay, you said you wouldn't prefer a female transitioning into a guy. But what if it's a guy transitioning into a female? female? I'm sorry. Love you down, and I accept you for who you are. Right. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Okay. Understandable. All right. Cool. All right. So, um, question number eight. What didn't you like with the opposite sex that you've seen in the same in the same sex? What didn't you like in a male that I like in a female? Yeah. Everything. It could be in anything, like during sex, or just like anything, like. Um. The masculineness, I guess. Like, the the whole boy part of it. But you know how males, like, they're not fem- feminine. Mm. Oh, sorry, y'all. I got pissed mm. in my mouth, so she a little... It's okay. <laughs> tuck, tuck, tuck. But I like the softness of a female. Okay. Like, the girliness, the emotional connection. Mm. Males, I don't think they... And the, the stories I be hearing from all my straight friends is, yeah, I got a lot going on. I was just like the the softness of a female. Okay. That I you can't get that from a male. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I don't know if we answered this already, but question number nine. I'll tell you if we did. What is your preference to date? A stud, tomboy. Oh, we kind of went over it, but I'm you femmes do. only. Femmes only. Yeah, I prefer femmes. Why? Like I said, I like like the girliness of it, and uh, I like I like a me. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like, we do everything together. And I don't like nothing being limited. You mm-hmm. know, with, like, studs or, like, whatever. They don't like to do the same things that films like to do. Oh. So, yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay. very limited. Like, they don't like to bump. No? No. Or, like, fingers. They don't They don't like that. I need that. She said, I need that. <laughs> okay. You know? Um, question number 10. At any given time, even when you was a child or from middle school mm-hmm. till now, like sometimes you know, some people be confused. Sometimes I'm not saying you're confused, but some yeah. people be confused sometimes. Have you have there ever been a time where you wished you were straight? Like damn, like yes, never, never, never. Mm-hmm. Nope. 
Okay. And I don't even gotta explain all that. I just don't know. No. I like who I am. I love who I am. That's good. Love who you are. Mm -hmm. If that's what you prefer, that's what you is. Don't be scared to come out the closet. None of that. That's you, baby. Living your truth. You feel me? And I love that for her. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you. I love that. Question 11. How did your parents react when you told them, like, that you were gay mm -hmm. or whatever? Okay. So, honestly, I didn't come out. Okay. Never came out. Um... And it wasn't really like a big reaction because I am the youngest of three. Mm. My two older sisters are gay as well. Okay. Yes. So when the first one came out, it was probably more of a shocker because she's the oldest. Right, right, right. So then when we all just like, the, the other two just fell behind, it was just like, okay. My mother really didn't care. She just didn't mind. Well, she didn't want nobody to come home pregnant at a young age. So she was just like, you know, fuck it. Yeah. But it wasn't, she never had a problem with it. She never made anyone feel uncomfortable for it. And she probably found out, I like yours, probably through some text messages. Oh, so she read your messages? Yeah, she saw some shit pop up. That mm -hmm. was in my younger days. But she didn't make it a big thing. Okay, I respect that. Okay. It wasn't bad. The, the older sister got the, got the most. So yeah. I know how it be being the oldest, so trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Question 12. Okay. So, because you're gay, mm -hmm. and I know you have probably have, like, a lot of female friends. <laughs> Do your friends <clears throat> feel like you want them or, like, ever try to, because you're gay, feel like, oh, I got to be on her or, like, you mm -hmm. know, anything, anything within okay, those so lines? I feel like it'd be the outsiders, really. What you mean by the outsiders? So, like, my ex-best friend. Okay. It was like people outside of us, like they'll see us together and like our outside friends or like other her family members. So somebody else looking in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they third party. So like if we have a little disagreement, being our friends, because you know friends do have disagreements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll probably they'll be like, oh, like do Tamara does she like you? Or she have some feelings for you? Just off the shelf of you know that I like females. Right. Yeah, but it's never none of that. Mm -hmm. I, like if you're my friend, you're my friend, and I, I respect like that. Gay people always have like they're perceived as just because you're gay, yeah. you always like like every female that's around you. That's like saying if I like you right now, yeah. and it's it's none of that, you know. Right? Yeah. They Strictly think that friends. you like yeah, and any any female that you're around, and it's it's never that. Okay. Have any of your friends ever tried to push up on you? All my friends. All your friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like even all through high school, like. My friends will always want to do stuff with me. I was never the one who'd be like, or like, friend, you know, give me a kiss. Or like, friend, I want you. Or like, friend, yeah. I do this, let's do that. Like, yeah. no. I was never, I'm never a starter, even in like my relationships. Okay. I never like, I don't holler at you first, basically. <laughs> okay. Even people come to me. Yeah. Just, I, I don't like rejection. Mm. So I don't, I don't do that. Okay. So anybody who... Old friends, they wanted to do stuff with me. I never ah, was a starter. Okay, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to the next question. Question 13. Um, Have you ever did anything sexual with any of your female friends? Or have any of your female friends, once again, try to attempt to do something with you? Or have y'all ever did anything <laughs> sexually? <laughs> okay. I need a drink for this one. Ooh, we about to get into the tea. Okay. So the answer is yes. A few friends actually. Um, one of them actually, we started a whole relationship for like eight years off of it. Ooh. And I, oh. Yes. And that was one best friend. We no longer talk. The second best friend, we did something too. That was actually my most recent best friend. And we no longer talk. <laughs> Sad. But in both of those, they started with me again. Okay. I didn't... I didn't were they... Anything. Were they, um... Were they bi-curious? Were they straight? So the were they already gay? One, she's, she was bi. Okay. The second one, who you know of, she was straight. Like, strictly straight. Okay. But I don't know what made her, like, want to come up on me. And me, I'm not turning that down. 
So we do it all day. <laughs> <laughs> we do it all day. You feel me? Okay. So that was that. But even like all through high school, mm. my friends would come up to me, want to kiss me, or just want to fill up on me, do stuff. And I'd just be letting it rock because I'm young, I'm, I'm turned. What happened? Are you going to you know, like, you know? <laughs> But yes, definitely yes. It. Yeah, so you did sexual stuff with okay. Yeah. All right. Question fourteen. And we gonna need a demonstration, baby. Ooh. Y'all want demonstrations? We gonna need demonstrations. I think we a little confused, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm real mixy, but baby, I wanna see too. She is. <laughs> All right, so question fourteen. What's your, your favorite sex position? All right. I'm I'm gonna say two. So my first one is definitely scissoring. Scissoring, okay. She's the top, top. Nobody's beating it. My gays know. <laughs> Y'all know that shit. That shit crash you out. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> that and like I okay. said, I do love me some vagina. So I like for you to sit on my face, ah. and you have to rob it. Just. I don't care if a bitch can't breathe. Kill you and all. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you know? I need that. So, them, them my, my two. Okay. Sure. So, we not going to demonstrate sin on the face. I mean, we... Yes. It's pretty much already know. self-explanatory. Like, but with the scissoring now... With the bump. The bumping. Um, so, how exactly does that work? Okay, so you like, could bump multiple ways. Can, can we... Hold on, let me back up. <laughs> okay, so it's different because, like, I really need a body. Okay, so... To the best of your ability. Um, so say if one person is, like, facing this way, you know? Okay. And then... it's So it's going to be, like... Say if I'm, like, you know, laid down this way. So one is on your back, right? Mm-hmm. And then another one will be, like, up this way. So, one leg will be like this. <laughs> the person who lay down, you going to be in between that. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. When your leg is down. And then y'all, bump, y'all can bump backwards. Like so. You get it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Another one. Both people. I say I'm in the back. Mm-hmm. You laying down there. Legs crisscross. Another bump. Okay, okay, okay. Right. And then it's it'll easy. be another one that's like, like missionary, basically. So like, say I'm on top mm-hmm. and like you down here, like your leg bend up your leg, boom, and then we just rock from there. It's okay, like, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I need many, many, many positions that you can bump in. What well, feel good to you? Okay. And you know when you be twisting and turning, you just flip, flip. Okay. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for that good demonstration. Hello. <laughs> so, question fifteen. Uh-huh. Um, why do a lot of lesbians fall in love so quickly? Uh. I, mean, I don't know. I ask myself this every day. I was just in love like a week ago. Literally, why do we? I don't know. I feel like because it's two females and then. Females know how females think, mm-hmm. or like what females want. Mm-hmm. And things just move quick, like in the lesbian world, and I don't know why, but I'm still trying to figure this question out to this day. Because I'll be like, I'm in love again right now. I was just in love last week, not in love with that person, <laughs> and I'm in love with a new girl right now. <laughs> I don't. This is make it be <laughs> Yes. Question 16. Have you ever been subjected to homophobia? Yes. One time. Okay, elaborate. This, yeah, so this was in high school. Um, I used to go to Franklin K. Lane. And we went to, like, after school, you know, you always chill with your friends or whatever. So we went to the chicken spot that was on the, um, the corner of the school, like, under the job, the J-Long. Okay. So we sitting in there chilling to the... My girlfriend at the time, and we just, you know, hugging up on each other, kissing each other, and, you know, chicken spots, there is Muslims in there. Right, 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 okay. So, 
I don't know, I don't really remember what he said, but he said, like, some slick remark, and me, personally, I got stuck, like, in that moment, because I never been through anything like that, but the girl who I was with at the time, she mm. was going back and forth with the man. Okay. Yeah, so, because we was, like, hugging each other, kissing each other, I guess that made him uncomfortable, and he didn't like that, and he basically told us to get out of the store. Oh. That's for sure. And that was the the only time that I ever experienced anything like that. Oh wow. Mhm. Like I said, live in your skin. Mm -hmm. Like people gonna be quick to judge and and do the most, but you gotta just know who you are. Like, right. fuck the haters. Like, you feel me? Like, kids, what nobody gotta say. Live in your truth. Mm -hmm. That is you. That God made you how you are. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody can't take that from you. It is what it is. You know, because I really don't like stuff like that. Right. Like, so imagine living through it. Yeah. And sometimes, you know how people be like, oh, if I was in that situation, I would have did so and so and so. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't know until you're actually in that situation. Right. So, you're right. Like, you're I was literally right. stuck. Mm -hmm. But I was younger then, so I feel like I probably handle it better like now, now. that I know. Mm -hmm. Right. Now okay. that I'm older. Before we get to the next question, with that situation, mm -hmm. for the younger crowd, what would you let them know? Like, because you said you would handle a situation better now that you're older. Yeah, do it differently. But, yeah. How, what would you tell them for people that's younger that may go through something like that or whatever? Um, I wouldn't say, like, you know, disrespect anyone, you know, because that is still, like, their establishment. Mm -hmm. But don't be ashamed of who you are. And if, speak up. Because I feel like I should have spoke up at the time. Okay. So speak up. Educate people. Because yeah. we are in 2024, so things are different now mm -hmm. than, than what it was back in the day. Back in the day, a lot of people used to judge. But I feel like now it's... It's more open to everyone, yeah. so people are more comfortable with coming out now. Mm -hmm. Or like, I, sometimes I feel like it's a trend in a way. Like oh, yeah? being gay is a trend. Oh wow! So like everybody just coming out now. Okay. And I don't know, but that's another topic. Right. Um, just speak up. Mm -hmm. Don't and don't be afraid. Yeah. And always educate, educate people, because you know everybody's different. Everybody has their own preference, so it doesn't matter who you love. Love who you love. Right, that part. Mm-hmm. Question number 17. All right, so two girls, right? Ooh. Both fans, or whatever yeah. the case may be. Well, we know we know what's going on with the other parties, but right. as for fans, who is the male, like the more, not even the male, the more, more dominant, dominant one in the situation, in, in, in the relationship? Mm. Okay, so I feel like it's, it's different. All right, so... Example, boo, I was just with. Mm -hmm. I feel like she was more dominant in the streets. Okay. I'm more dominant in the bed. Ah. Yes. Okay. okay. But I don't know, like, you think what would maybe be the like difference? You may, maybe feel like y'all take turns being dominant in different things? Cause like, you I, said, like I would say that. Yeah. Because, like, if, it's like, for streets, for instance, like, if we go out, you know how, like, males are always, like, subjected to, like, all right, I got to pay for this because, you know, I'm the male in this. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we going out, me, I got this. I'm going to pay for Like, you good. Don't worry about nothing. You don't got to pull nothing out. Okay. That's me. Right, right, right. So, like, I feel like we take turns with that. Okay. Because, like, sometimes when we in the bedroom... She be the more dominant one, like she taking over. Okay, so it's not just one side. Yeah, it's like, like one some, side of it's switch. It depends on the mood. Okay. Okay. Cool. Understandable. Mm -hmm. So it's different for friends. Okay. Question eighteen: Why are lesbians attracted to straight girls? Oh, child, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. God, why are we attracted to straight? Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> because this is what I'm going through right now. <laughs> Oh it's crazy because I literally said, like, after 30,000 years I was just with, mm -hmm. I said, I would never deal with a shit girl. <laughs> 30,000 years. It, it felt like I was with her for 30,000 years. <laughs> Bitch, I was stressed. I'm stressed. <laughs> like, but after her, I was like, God, I'm literally never dealing with any other straight girl ever again. Mm -hmm. Boo not straight. And 30,000 years wasn't straight. She's about... But y'all still take dick. Uh, and I just said, like, I'm not dealing with nobody who's with the opposite sex. Okay. But when Boo came along, it's her vibe. She got me. 
and they'll be the same size, so I don't know. Okay. Fuck. And then current current wifey. Right. She bought too. Why y'all don't leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, all right, so what if, like, all right, because you are attracted to straight girls, but what yeah. if uh, another gay person approached you? Like, they already gay? And it's crazy because somebody did. Uh-huh. But. You're not attracted to that? I was. She's just annoying. She clingy. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And, like, she was feeling too much. Like, I, ugh. Oh, maybe that's just her. But I feel like that's kind of was probably the only person who did come to me who was like straight lesbian straight femme do you feel like i don't know because you are attracted to straight girls so do do you like that it's like i'm attracted to the gays do but you the straight uh, girls be coming on to me the vicarious ones <laughs> right okay or do you feel like um because they kind of knew it's a new experience for them kind of ish they still exploring that's probably why you like because it's like Mm, like it depends because for me i feel like i want to show you something okay you know? you see, that's like, <laughs> so it's, i don't know i'll be intrigued but like, yeah like maybe you're missing out on something ah, okay so let me show you ah hello <laughs> <laughs> okay okay that was good one. <laughs> okay cool question 19 what's your favorite thing about being in a relationship with a female. We kind of touch base on that, but let's just, like, mm-hmm. jump straight into it. Like, it's full. Right. I love everything about a female. Like, the, like again, the softness of it. Um, I like the emotional connection. Okay. Um, the bond. Or, like, how we share similar things because we are both female and both mm-hmm. femmes. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, you are me, I am you. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Pretty much it. And the whole female Literally. anatomy literally <laughs> like every everything about a female i love that's good that's good because friend is very straight she's strictly ickly you know <laughs> so i feel like if she touched base with it a little bit she would kind of understand she be trying to get me to try with like I'm, she be trying not I'm, with her no but we don't do that over here it's my me but it's my <laughs> sandbox days okay <laughs> but when she I go there, she been trying to tell me like to go explore on the on the dark side, on the light side. Yeah, cause she ain't dog. She she better. Y'all know on the other side. She taste better the than rainbow. The, hello, <laughs> like she too. not taste it yet, but get a little bump in there. You know, once you bump, you ain't never going back. So <laughs> okay, we gonna get her there. We gonna get her there. <laughs> We're gonna get hey, her look. there. Hey look. Friend know how she get. I'm strictly dick. Friend know how. All right, when you the next video, we're gonna put y'all back on. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. We are coming to a closing. This is question Ooh. twenty. Um. Ooh, twenty questions. Damn. Um. What would you consider bad sex? Okay. So, don't be nervous. Even if you don't know what you're doing don't be nervous because you're gonna make it uncomfortable this even is if you point, don't this is something for me too yeah if you, know, you don't like, know what you're doing act like you know what you're doing we all seen it we all know like how it should be mm. just do it because if you act it you that person gonna feel it yeah Boo, you know had bad sex not too long ago. Can we give a little story? You know, a little, a little story time. Why it was bad though? Like, just give us a little backstory. Why it was bad? I just feel like the person was nervous. Okay. The person only been with a female once or twice, so she didn't really know. Like, okay, am I doing this right? Because you know, I well, really do this. Right, you, you, you're into yeah, stuff so like she's that. Like, so like, well, she probably feel like she got a. She got to show out because she know I do this. Mm-hmm. And, like, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So, it was awkward. And, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Me, personally, I felt like I don't need time to get comfortable. Yeah. Or, like, I don't need time to do everything I said in the messages. You know? Right, right, right. Okay. You get me? You know what's about to happen when you hit this room. Mm-hmm. For that person, it's like, 
okay, I'm a little skeptical because, like, what if she don't like this? What if she don't like that? Am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. And after that first time, that that second time, bitch, I thought you was lying because... <laughs> you felt like the second time was better because, why? Wow, she was more comfortable this time? She yeah. was like... Yeah. Okay. And I thought the girls said she ain't never... You, you feel me? <laughs> but when we was in that room... <laughs> She knew what she was doing, bitch. I thought she was up to my standards. I'm Has not it have had, Is that the first time you've ever had bad sex? Bad, bad sex experience? No. Bad sex? Like, the very first time when I had sex with a girl, it was bad. It was horrible. Why was it The sex wasn't bad. bad. The head was horrible. Oh. Yes. So, nice. and if that's like <coughs> the first thing that go on, maybe I'm pulling up my pants. I might have to catch you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm the same way. Yeah. And then it ain't even about just girls. It's just the mm -hmm. head in general. Like <laughs> So I feel like her head was bad. And me personally, I ain't like it. So when I was down there, it was a little The taste wasn't tasting. And but I've I've had my fair share. That taste was very Oh tart. my gosh, y'all, I'm sorry, but um we just gonna have to add a bonus question. In there. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what I forgot to ask. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm scared of that one. <laughs> but that was bad. That was the very first time I had sex. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. It was good for that person, though. Oh, okay. So I know what I'll be on. Now you knew what you was doing, though. I don't know. I know I did that, though. Okay. <laughs> Your question. The bonus question. Basically, what you was just saying. Like, wh how you, like, the tasting with the vagina. Like, okay. With, like, you said, that. you said the taste wasn't tasting. Mm -hmm. So, like, what is it supposed to taste like versus what is it not supposed to taste like? Because, like, I don't eat it. So, you know, like, I, I don't know what it's supposed to taste. It's supposed to taste like flowers. It's supposed to taste like yeah. Skittles, water, what? Like, that whole you eat pineapples and mm. it's going to taste like pineapples thing or, like, the fruit is, no, it's not true. No? No, hell no. Not one bit? No. Zero? Zippo? No. <laughs> but it tastes like pussy. Pussy is bland. It has no taste. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Like nothing. Okay, so how do you know when it's like not it? What, 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 is it, what, what taste does it have then? Because like when you ovulate, it has a different taste too. Ovulating is like, like a little like a sweet and sour taste. And like don't get me too much on the sour because I feel like only the gays would know but like you know when it's like when you're a regular it's very bland it tastes like nothing just like wet like it tastes how you smell if you clean you taste like how you smell okay but when you ugly in it tastes a little different like sweeter mm -hmm. now when she not right <laughs> <laughs> okay when she's not right it, it's tart yes and it may sound bad, but I feel like all my gays had that experience where it's like, she wasn't all the way right down there, but we still, we still ate that. You know? It's just like, I'm here. Might as well just give it You know? Yeah. Yes and no. Because it depends. Because like, if that should happen now, mm. I'm, I'm going to punch you in your face. Oh. <laughs> but you knew you was coming here. Like, come on now. Yo, but what? <laughs> when you in love sometimes and you do whatever. Yeah. Okay. You don't care, basically. All but right, cool. You gotta be fresh, though. You fresh, you taste like nothing. Okay. The whole pineapples and eating certain fruits and drinking certain things is not gonna make it's you taste myth. sweeter. No, you're just gonna taste regular like nothing. Okay, y'all. So y'all heard it straight from a <laughs> from a, a, a gay person. Okay. It is a myth. I ain't gonna lie, I believe the myth. I thought eating yeah, mad pineapple. I ain't gonna lie, pineapple is my favorite fruit, but I believe cranberry. Cranberry is really for you, T.I. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get into that. Like, I have a previous video back in my older days, mm -hmm. older videos where I was talking about like stuff like that. But cranberry is for like, you know, to flush out your system, you prevent UTI. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. But I still thought like pineapple juice, pineapples. Um, I mean, I mean, I feel like like you're gonna be fresh down there, but you're not yeah. gonna taste like what you're eating. Okay, yeah, I would. I mean, I really wouldn't expect to taste like that because if that's the case, yeah. we wouldn't be using. Um, you're not even supposed to be using scented stuff down there, so yeah, it's like not. I wouldn't even expect that. But I, I would expect your, the fruits you taking care of your body. Yeah, yeah it would be more healthier. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. That's why it tastes bland, like nothing. 
like what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know like, what? Like, all right, cool. All right, understandable. So yeah, yeah, it's a myth. Myth. But still take care of yourself. We're not saying not to yes. take care of yourself. Like, still so take care of your body. Roots and shit like that. Right. It's it's helping you. Take your pro- probiotics. When they be like, yeah, you taste good because you don't taste like nothing. Mm. You just mad what? So it's like, yeah, I can eat this all day because not like you tasting a funky ass taste, you know? Mm. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Nice. I just learned something else. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, that was the end of the video. Let's give her a round of applause. She did so great. I love her. Oh, wow. I love my friend. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys tune into her. She is going to be uploading her first official video. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to drop her at name down below. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her page. Please, please, please. <laughs> and once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe on my friend video yeah hello <laughs> all right see you in the Thank next video guys. bye guys <laughs>